In 2011, in May, I was shaving and I noticed a lump and I thought it was maybe a gland. And then finally, it was diagnosed in August of 2011 that it was positive for cancer. The cancer uh, attacked my muscle and my shoulder and my chest, and it attacked my saliva glands, my thyroid, and my vocal cord, my right vocal cord. And so I'm very positive and very committed, and I felt something down the road that we would, I would move forward. And part of that, because I was on traditional medicine and had been for some time, and the medicine I was taking uh, was uh, to help my immune system and to kill the cancer. But uh, I made that known to all my doctors, and they didn't really have a problem with it. The one particular medicine the herb that I was taking is the, they call the Syac. That was made up by a friend of mine. She made that up there for me as a tea. It included five different herbs. And I feel that taking those herbs help keeping my organs healthy during the process of all my treatments, especially the chemo. You go on the computer in the cancer center and you log in and you do your assessment on how you feel for the day, for the week, uh, symptoms of uh, fever, uh, blood pressure, those types of things, vomiting. Well, what I did is I took a, a, a template of the assessment on the computer at this on cancer center and I developed a spreadsheet. So I tracked it every day. I measured my blood pressure, I measured my blood sugar, I measured my uh, uh, temperature, my weight. I was looking for trends that if there was a the change from one day to the next, I see something, there's, there's a flag there. And I would be able to call my doctor at that point and say, I think we've got something going on here. I say, this, this symptom is not normal. It's out of the normal, can we talk about it? And it's, it's based solely on a clinical, but it has to go deeper than that. There's a lot of trust in there and friendship. And I think that's very important. Yeah, I mean, cancer is a very serious disease. Yes. And, and um, I, in my experience, I find the ratio that we have, for example, I have with other patients too, these are the ones that tend to go better than others. Um, there needs to be enough, these, they need to have equal faith in each other. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to have faith that the patient's going to trust what you do and, and, and the patient's going to trust in you that you're making the best decision possible for Absolutely. them. And if it's long, when you have that, things can turn out pretty, pretty well. When we think we don't have the strength to make it through something, we just have to look inside and pull it out. Because when we heard the word cancer, people think that it's an immediate death knell. It's not. Reach in and pull up that strength that we all have. It's not over until it's over.